My initial reaction always when I have a system of equations and I'm asked for the solution is to just put it into Desmos. I want to see that dot on the graph. I just want to make sure because the normal ways of solving systems with substitution, elimination, they are prone to mistakes. Maybe not this one, but I don't know that going in. And, and usually we don't know that we are making a careless mistake until after we've already made it. So I'm not going to really have a careless mistake. If I put in the calculator, I just need to type it right and it should be fine. So 3y is equal to 4x plus 17. 3y equals 4x plus 17. Looks good. Next line. Negative 3y equals 9x minus 23. Negative 3y equals 9x minus 23. There it is right there. There's my beautiful point. And yeah, it's kind of messy. Okay, fine. Now I get why maybe this is a risky thing to do, but uh, we need to get 39x. So let's just get our x. Now I, the blue book version of um, Desmos, this is what I use, should have this little, I don't know what you'd describe it as, like an icon, a little arrowy icon next to the point. So you could, that's just a copy paste thing. So you, I'm going to tap that and it's going to put it down there for me in a line. Now I only want the x coordinate. So let's just delete this other stuff. Let's get rid of that. And uh, let's throw a little, it's 39x, right? So let's just times it by 39. It doesn't need to be 39 in the front. So oops. times 39 is 18. And yeah, there's some, there's some extra little bit, but that's because it's a messy decimal question. And so it's, it's got to cut that decimal off somewhere, but it's cutting it off so far that there's no doubt here. Right? It's clearly 18. So yeah, that's the answer. So I would do that just because, I, you know, like I said, I, I don't want to risk a mistake at all. And I feel like my lowest chance of a careless mistake is just typing it in Desmos. And before I acknowledge my answer, I just double check that I actually typed it into Desmos correctly. That's it. That's the only thing I can really mess up. And even if I had messed up the minus 30, the 39 thing, right, there's no answer choice that that's this without the 39. But if we wanted to do it in a more traditional way, these equations are set up in a convenient way where if we add them together, the, the y's will just disappear, right? So this is the elimination method. Sometimes we have to multiply or something to make it so that this happens, but they did give us a little shortcut that this works out. So what we have here is zero is equal to just add them up. So 13x and then 17 minus 23. I'm a little nervous about messing that up, but I believe it's negative six. So 17 minus 23. And now we see where these other wrong answers came from. They're traps that we might get if we kind of lose track of what we're doing, right? Because if we're trying to solve for X, we're gonna add six over. So we get that six is equal to 13 X. And you know, I don't know, maybe some people stop here. I don't know, so don't do that. How do we get from 13 to 39? We multiply by three. So that gets us 39 X. And if we do that on this side for balance, that gets us to the 18 that we had. So there you go. But I don't know. I could have easily lost the negative as I was moving that over. And then I would have gotten negative 18. And then I pick A and I'd be just as confident. So there's always danger in algebra. And, and some of us are better at it than others. But there's hundreds of steps of algebra you're going to be doing on an SAT. And every step is a slight chance to make a careless mistake that could cost you the entire question. So you have to think of it like that. And you're always trying to think, how can I reduce the chance that I make a mistake that would have been fully preventable? So for me, at least on systems of equations, Desmos basically makes it a 0% chance that I make some sort of error.